Hey everyone, how has this day, this year been treating you? I do sincerely hope that you're not sick because literally everyone is falling sick. It's that time of the year again where we talk about our semester in review. This last semester has been a little different. For the last two months of the semester, I was on campus. We had offline hybrid classes and offline exams. It was different. Offline classes really genuinely fun. So I thought since the semester is over, it's a good time to talk about the courses that I did this semester, the ones that were relevant to civil engineering, the other electives I took, and I do hope this video is good. Also, before we begin, say hi to this really cute plant. This plant has been keeping me company since I got back home and yeah, really nice, cute plant. So um, this semester, I had three compulsory courses for civil engineering. I took up one department elective and I took up one elective from the economics department out of curiosity. There was no genuine reason for me to take that course up. And I took up one humanity and we'll talk about all of those in just a bit. So the first disciplinary courses that I did was foundation engineering which is like a continuation of soil mechanics. I did soil mechanics in my 2-2 or my 4th semester and this was just like a continuation of that. In this course, we studied how to design foundations, different types of foundation or designs, different types of foundations in different types of soils. What we basically learned was to design different types of foundations in different types of soils for any given load. And towards the end of the semester, we also talked a little bit about ground improvement techniques or uh, how do we improve the strength of soil. So different soils behave differently. If you have something like black cotton soil, which is expansive, it's going to behave very differently as compared to say sandy soil or clay soil. So what we learn in ground improvement techniques is how do you improve the strength in soil. In general, a very fun course. You will, If you like soil mechanics, you will definitely like this course. The other course that I did was design of reinforced concrete. So if you've ever witnessed any construction going on, you would have seen that, you know, workers put on those steel rods before pouring concrete into any good structure. So those steel rods are basically reinforcements and concrete does not work very well in tension. It is weaker in tension and it is stronger in compression. The purpose of putting those steel rods is so that it can help with the tensile strength of concrete. Uh, the reason why we use steel in reinforcements and not any other material is because the thermal expansion coefficient of concrete and steel is very close. In DRC or design of reinforced concrete, what we learned was how do you design those reinforcements? Where do you place those reinforcement uh, reinforcements? What is the dimension of the steel bars uh, that you're using? What is the spacing of those steel bars in different types of structures like columns, beams, slabs, or foundations, or even staircases? So that is basically what we learned in design of reinforced concrete. And the other compulsory course that we did was hydraulic engineering which is like a continuation of fluid mechanics. Uh, in hydraulic engineering, we learned about boundary layer theory. We learned about viscosity. And towards the end of the semester, we also learned about different uh, flows in channels, different turbines. Just a continuation of fluid mechanics, not very different. So those were the three compulsory courses that uh, I had to do. Along with that, I took up one disciplinary elective, which was operation research with engineers which is basically optimization for project management. In this course, uh, we touched on all the major topics of optimization from simplex methods to integer linear programming to transportation problem to multi-objective optimization. We had a seminar in this course for which we have also had to learn nature-based algorithms and I think towards the end of the semester we covered queuing theory and game theory as well. So a very uh, broad course touches on various aspects but the uh, objective of the course was to help in project management. So for example you have any project, you have certain constraints, you have certain objectives, you have to come up with an optimal solution and that is basically um, what we were trying to learn in this course. A very fun course. This is one of the most interesting courses I have taken up in my five semesters in PITS. So these were the civil engineering department courses that I took up. I took up one course from the economics department which was marketing research 
which I took up out of curiosity. And it was actually a very functional course. In this course, you learn the different steps of marketing research, the importance of marketing research, how do you carry research out, what kind of approaches you can have to, you know, properly analyze uh, any marketing strategy. It's a very chill course. If you know the concept, it's very easy to grasp what is going on. We also did a little bit of statistics, not a lot, but a very mild bit. So that was the course that I took up from the economics department. And um, the final course that I took up was local governance and participation, which is from the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences. Local governance and participation, I took up because I was like super interested. I had taken up public administration um, last semester and I was like really interested in it. So I took this up. In this course, we learned about the different tiers of the government, focusing more on the local governor, governments like in rural areas, we have panchayats and gram sabhas and in urban areas, we have municipalities. So what is the structure for uh, these local governments? What is the participation like in these local govern governments? We studied a little bit of history and then we shifted to the social perspective of, of local governance. Like, what is the role of caste and gender? Uh, what is participation like? How does caste and gender affect participation? And a very interesting course if you're interested about this topic. So those were the courses that I took up uh, in the semester. It has been a very eventful semester. And yeah, um, I do hope this video was helpful. Um, if you stuck around till here, you're awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, have fun and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!